Today I want to share with you a family fall staple home cooked meal, cozy comfort food that is good for the soul and is a family winner. So if you're looking for a great easy weeknight meal or something to just warm you up and get cozy with the fam, I got you. Let's jump into this. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Danielle and this is Daniela Diaries and here we are inspiring to inspire you, me, everyone to be the very best version of ourselves. Each version, each version will be different, but nonetheless it will be great as well. So if you're here for that, please stick around, subscribe. It was a very safe place. Everyone is welcome in this little corner of the internet and I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you already know we're real friends and I love you. Today we are in the kitchen. We're gonna do some cooking and you're gonna hang out with us. You're gonna spend a cozy evening at home with me and my fam because you guys are our family too. You're just like the internet aunties, okay? I wanted to share with you one of my family's favorite comfort food dishes. I've been really enjoying cooking again and making a lot of, you know, family staples that I remember eating and enjoying growing up. And I've been making them a lot more, especially since now I really have no restrictions on anything. I could eat whatever I want, honestly. Um, and I wanted to share with you some of my favorite comfort foods um, for the colder weather. It's getting cooler here. It's beautiful. It is perfection. If it would stay like this all year long, I would not be upset. And I wanted to share with you these dishes. Today we are going to have a beef stroganoff. Very, very simple, very, very minimal ingredients. So it'll be good on the pocketbook and good in the belly and everybody will be happy all around. Um, and then we're also going to kind of hang out tonight. Today is actually the re release of Hocus Pocus 2. And you guys know we do scary Saturdays around here during the fall. Um, I'm actually going to try to move it to scary Sundays to see how it it goes I know you guys are busy and you have your own lives you're living and I feel like maybe Sundays would be better for you guys to actually enjoy the content and you know maybe hit the grocery store and make it that for Sunday dinner or something along those lines let me know down below what you think from Saturday uploads to Sundays and yeah so today we're going to actually watch Hocus Pocus 1 because tomorrow we're having a Hocus Pocus 2 party my nephew's coming we're gonna have a lot of little activities really gonna make it a big event um, if you guys are new, I really been trying, um, this is my second year now of really making a big event out of Halloween in memory of my aunt who we lost last September. And growing up, I remember watching Hocus Pocus, the first one at her house, and she dressed up as a witch and she made us all food and we had treats and it was just amazing. And I want to give that not only to my kids, but also to my nephew. So um, yeah, so today we're going to watch Hocus Pocus 1. And then Netflix actually came out with their own monsters. And my dad was a big monster fan. Like he loved them. That was like his show growing up. So I have to introduce the girls to the monsters and see what they think. But without further ado, let me jump into this recipe. It's going to be super simple, super easy and super good. Enough super. Let's get to cooking. All right, before I start cooking, I got to wash up these dishes, okay? But like, because it's like a casual video and we real friends, you could be here washing dishes with me. So let's give a little insight on what our Hocus Pocus party tomorrow is going to look like. So my nephew is coming. I got, um, I bought the kids Halloween socks from like the Target dollar bin so they could have socks to play with. And then also, I didn't show you guys this, but Scrub Daddy has like Halloween scrubs. I got Frankenstein, but nonetheless. Um, so I got them socks. They're gonna have uh, hot chocolate bombs. They're gonna have some tonight too, because I got a big thing of them. Guys, I've been buying this stuff for probably a month now and saving it <laughs> because I just couldn't wait. So I'm very excited. I wanna show you guys a couple of the Halloween stuff that I put up. I got the house all decorated pretty much for the inside. And I really didn't buy too much stuff other than that village and stuff, but I didn't really go too crazy. I didn't want to spend any more money. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to buy much Christmas decor either. Maybe some stuff for the outside, but that's it. But what else is I going to tell you? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so we're going to do hot chocolate bombs, cr uh, cookie decorating. My nephew's obsessed with taffy apples right now. So I got some, like, that, you know, one they sell at the grocery store. I was going to get, like, those big gourmet ones from Mariano, but Leo told me no. He needs a $5 taffy apple, and I was like, but it's for the memories. Um, yeah, so, and then for dinner, we're going to have lasagna, and then I want to do something with red sauce, you know, so it's like kind of creepy. So what I'm going to do, though, with the lasagna is I'm going to put plastic skulls on it so it looks like, 
like a bloody creepy mess you know like kind of make it spooky um but <clears throat> we got the like pre-assembled one from costco it's like 15 bucks for like a five pound lasagna so it'll be pretty cheap i don't know if it tastes good or not but uh we're gonna do that and then it's gonna be pretty small it's only gonna be my mother-in-law my father-in-law my brother-in-law my sister-in-law and my nephew and then my kids and then um becky sophie and ray are having a friend over as well so I think it'll be kind of a fun little thing for them to do. And then on Sunday, we're going with my family and we're gonna take the girls pumpkin picking. Pump, pump, my Midwest is coming out. Pump, 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 pumpkin, pump, 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 pumpkin. I don't know. People kind of come for me sometimes in the comments on how I pronounce my words, but in the south side of Chicago, we barely, we have like our own language here. I think I'm bad. You should hear my mom and my dad. Like, I literally have to, cur I'm like, damn, your guys at south side is like really shining through. But my Aunt Joy was real bad too. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start, I just wanted to clean up a little bit before we start making more dishes. I always, I'm going to tell you guys this also because we're real friends. I just want to let you know when I'm going to film, I clean my house before I film and I like make sure that like it smells good. I mop the floors and Leo's like, you think, what do you think they, they're going to smell it over the video? And I'm like, I got company. So if you guys ever worried that or ever thought I was being phony about us being real friends, honey, no, because I clean for y'all too, just like I do for my family. All right. Ingredients for the beef stroganoff are going to be super easy. You're going to need, I'm doubling this recipe because this is going to be for my family and because it's going to be the week weekend and I want them to have food that if they wanted to heat it up and have it for lunch and then Leo could also bring some for lunch. So this technically should be able to do two lunches. So a Saturday lunch and a Monday lunch for Leo and then feed the kids throughout the weekend. But all right, here we go. So we have two pounds of ground beef. We are going to use, again, this is for the double recipe, uh, a container of great value sour cream. You can use whatever brand you want. I'm gonna use two packets of brown gravy mix, two cans of cream and mushroom soup. You could add an onion. I don't have one and I wasn't going to the store to buy one because I'm gonna tell you something, that one little dollar onion would end up costing me like $35 in BS buying. And you guys know, I am the queen of BS buying, especially at the grocery store, so I gotta stay out. Um, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper, a little garlic, a little onion powder, and a little bit of parsley so easy on the stove top currently I have a pot of water boiling and we're going to start browning up this ground beef I'm gonna make sure that um, we also strain it for grease and all that stuff so um, I'm gonna start doing that I believe this is the 80 20 or 88 12 I think um, mix or whatever we got it from, we got it from the jewel so it is, I am, as I'm cooking this, you can see, this is my little spatulator. I don't know where I got this from. I want to say it was in my P.O. box a few years ago, but it's a pretty cool device. It's really good for breaking up chicken too. Okay, back to it. Walmart has it. <laughs> so this is like 80% cooked, and you can see there's a lot of like grease. So what, I don't want to add the seasoning just yet because I don't want to like get rid of some of the seasoning when I strain the meat so I'm gonna cook it up just probably like two more minutes break it down one more time and then I'm gonna strain it and then I'm gonna start seasoning it and that'll be it um, like I said pretty much most of the fat is kind of coming off right now because it's mostly cooked all the way through and yeah so I just drain it I know some people don't drain their ground beef and that makes my stomach hurt just thinking of it. You could even, if you wanted it to be even leaner and you couldn't, you didn't want to pay like the lean price tag, like the lean meat price tag, what you could do also is um, rinse it. Cook it up real good, get all the grease off, and then strain it and rinse it, and that should help you as well. So my little trick to straining it, I don't know if you remember, I remember my mom keeping the pickle jars underneath the sink, and you would have to like maneuver it to where you could, oh, it was always a mess, and I always had like, had like spilled grease over the side of it. Never dump grease down your drain, ever, 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 ever. It will, it will just mess up your whole drainage system. My cousin's a plumber, this is like an old, like a, before my cousin even told me that, my mom always told me never dump grease on this drain. But 
What we're going to do is I have a bowl and it's lined with foil and then I'm going to take my little strainer and I put it in, in there like that. And then I take my pan and you just be careful. Okay. And then I get a couple, couple shakes here. I also have a um, glass plate underneath it, just so if I spilled any off to the side, the plate would catch it. And then that's it. So there is our strained meat, and this will go right back into the frame. Now we're gonna start seasoning, but before we do that, our water is almost ready. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there, and then we could drop in our egg noodles. So now we're gonna start seasoning. I have one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over the place. Again, remember you should, I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I didn't add that onion. Garlic powder, which is appropriate. It'll help keep the vampires away on our spooky evenings. Here's one and two. Then we're gonna add a little salt, just a little. You don't wanna go too overboard because again, you guys know salt will ruin a dish. And then some pepper. These uh, salt and pepper shakers are from Amazon. I don't like doing too fatty of a grease. I feel like it's gonna hurt some people's stomach. Unless you were like keto and you wanted to keep some of that grease, that's cool. But I think if you were keto, you probably wouldn't be eating this anyways. So, disregard. All right, just making sure everything's well mixed in. Next, we're going to take a bowl and take the two packets of the brown gravy and dump them in there and you're gonna take two cups of water, cold water, and you're going to whisk them together. And this is gonna be some of the sauce that's gonna go over that ground beef. So if you're concerned that it was looking a little dry, a little unflavored, I hear ya, but don't you worry because it is not. Okay. That was that water. And then we're gonna whisk. Make sure you mix it thoroughly before you add it to the meat. Okay, taking that gravy mix, adding that to the mixture. Okay. Now don't forget, this is gonna simmer in this pan, but once those noodles are done, we're going to add this with the noodles and that's where it's gonna make it that creamy goodness. But look at how already it's getting nice and thick. Look at that, look at that. Perfect, perfect, that's what we want to see. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I like, the reason why I added a little bit more water is I like it to have a little bit more gravy on it. That's just my preference. If you like it to be real thick, then don't, but I like it to have a little bit more gravy. All right, next we're going to add our sour cream. I'm gonna add a half of this container, about a cup. Again, remember, I am doubling this recipe, guys, okay? And then I'm going to follow that up with two cans of cream of mushroom. If I can. All right, two cans of cream of mushroom. I'm not even going to tell you how the other can broke as I was trying to put it in here. All right. Don't worry about the pan. It's all going to fit. And then you start mixing everything together. And then you're just going to let this simmer for like 10 minutes. Now, I don't wanna hear anybody's comment about like, ooh, that doesn't look good. Honey, honey, this is fire. I'm gonna tell you, okay, look at me. You can look at me and know I know how to eat good, okay? And if, this is, if I'm telling you this is good, this is good. This isn't like some crazy stuff. This is some good old comfort food, stick to your ribs, warm the soul type stuff but you just gotta mix it. It's full of flavor, it's minimal ingredients, and you could really make it go far in a budget. That's kind of what I've been trying to show on these new cooking videos where, you know, I know everybody's so used to me for like diet and weight loss, but you know, also I wanna show you guys that you can eat whatever and still, you know, feed your family on a budget, you know, good old, like good old homeschool, like old school home cooking. This was, a Mindy special. On Thursdays, we used to have BLTs or cream mess and tomatoes and milkshakes. That was my favorite day of the week.
noodles are done. So we're gonna add in our mix here. I'm gonna have to use two hands for this bad boy because she's a little heavy. Okay. Okay, just gonna mix. Look at that. Nice, hearty meal. I'm probably going to actually put a little bit of this in a container and bring it over. We're gonna add in about a teaspoon of parsley over the top. Boom, your dinner is done. And look at that, look at how quick that was. Everything's homemade. Now, if you wanted to, you can make that bread, that fresh bread that I showed you. That would be really good. So if you guys did want, I would suggest making that fresh bread to go with it. I didn't make any because we haven't, I think there's enough carbs just with the noodles alone. But if you guys wanted to do that, you could do it as well. But like I said, we are um, still gotta be a little mindful. I also wanna say this, we don't eat like beef stroganoff every day, obviously. This is, you know, like a, you know, a, like an occasional meal. You know, I cook every day, so it doesn't really matter. So this was just kind of a, nice, like I said, just a treat, a comfy, a comfy, cozy meal that the kids enjoy that can make enough that we could spread out throughout the weekend and, you know, lunches and stuff like that. And then if I have some left, what I've been doing as well is I've been just tossing it into a freezer bag and then reheating it for leftovers another day. So if you make too much, save it and throw it in the freezer. You have a meal already ready. So um, you cook, cook smarter, not harder. Is that what they say? But dinner is ready. I'm gonna clean up these pots and let me show you what I got for the kids. So I got these for my nephew. I figured he can put them on and they, cause they run around like in their socks. And then I even got a pair of these like from my mother-in-law. And then, you know, I got some extras for my kiddos so they could wear. And then we're gonna have some of these tonight cause the girls have been waiting for them. But these are the white chocolate cocoa bombs and their eyeballs. So scary, right? And I got cool it for them and Halloween sprinkles. So excited. Can you tell? Look at my hair looks all crazy. Let's tuck that back in. And then for tomorrow when my nephew comes, I got this. I don't know if you guys remember, I got this from Sam's Club. But how fun, right? And then he's so excited for taffy apples. So my nephew's only five, so I got him taffy apples. Um, but yeah, they're so, 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 so excited. And then I've been kind of keeping all these things up. Let me go show you the house, how I did it. So here is my little coffee bar, my Target receipt. But you guys remember Leo bought me that last year? These are all old things, but I just kind of kept them up. And then here's my little coffee station. I got these little guys from the Dollar Tree. They're just little skeletons. I thought they were cute. And then um, those are actually my grandfather's cookbooks, but I put them off to the side because I feel like because they're old, so they look kind of like spooky vintage and some signs and stuff like that. And then this is you guys right here, but I have, this is from the Dollar Tree. I've had those for a couple years. This app, this poison candles it was supposed, I burned it last year, but I just think it's kind of cool just to have. And then I got this this year from Target. Thought that was kind of fun there. And then I have that skeleton or that little jack-o'-lantern thing. So it looks kind of nice. And then my little pumpkin candles. I've had those for years. I actually thrifted those. And then it's really hot in my house right now. Here is, I got these for the party tomorrow. Aren't they so cute? And then here's my little, I got, I got this tablecloth. It's a washable one. It's really nice from Amazon. I think it was 18 bucks, but I wanted, I splurged on this because I can wash it and then I can use it next year. So um, all this stuff is old. Yeah, I've had it for years. Those candlesticks I actually thrifted. That pumpkin's old. I mean, I had a lot of this stuff for a very long time. You guys remember my ghost? He needs some new batteries, but he comes up and down. <laughs> and then I got those little spiders and then a little spider whip, so it looks like they're crawling. So it's spooky, right? I bet you guys are really scared right now when you're in here, but don't worry. And then I got my little ghostly guy, and then I have these little lights on the TV. 
here is my village. I'm gonna play that for you right now, but hold on. My pillows, I didn't even clean up, so it's okay. And then I put more bats on the wall. I actually got these bats from, I miss, miss one's already down, I gotta find it. Um, I got them from the dollar spot at Target. And I got those little hanging ghosts from Dollar Tree and all the little like gnomes and stuff. Ray bought me the gnomes like last year. And yeah, those books are from Dollar Tree like maybe one or two years ago. Pretty simple. And then here's my little uh, Day of the Dead with my Katrinas. I love them. I keep these up until November 1st um, for like the Day of the Dead. And yeah, then I bought these candles from Walmart. I don't know if you guys remember. It's supposed to drip blood garbage. Don't even waste your money. They don't do nothing. But let me show you the basement real quick too. You being nosy? He looks out the little side window right here and yells at everybody like a grumpy old man. The basement isn't really clean just yet, so, but, all right, so the lights aren't on, but you guys can see I hung up lights. And then right here, I put like little cobwebs that I got from the dollar spot at Target. And then, okay, let me show you. It's so spooky. And then I put up those like hanging, I think my nephew's gonna think it's cool, right? I think it's cool. I mean, I could have done more, guys, but I, I just don't want to spend that money. I think these are fun, though. Like, these got little skeletons hanging. Okay, can you guys see? It has the Hocus Pocus projector. It's cooler when the when it's all dark. But I think it, it'll be fun for the movie, right? I think he'll like it. I hope he does. And then the girls. The girls love it down here already. They, they uh... It doesn't take them much to really get into it. I think I might have to change the batteries on that thing first. So I have to try to get more batteries. <laughs> and then over here I have a sign that says Hocus Pocus. And then I put another spider whip right there. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Hold on. I did a home workout yesterday, so I got to clean that up. But we got this little arcade thing. We have to get the, the box on the bottom, but didn't come with it. And we got this on clearance at Walmart for $200. So if you guys are looking for it pretty cool the kids love it and I put that hocus pocus sign up I definitely get in my head about like buying too much you know but I always just want it to be like the best memories for the kids you know and I don't know I always had the best memories during these times of the year with my family so I try to like do that with my kids and you know oh, that's not off hold on I want to I gotta change batteries so we got the upstairs decorated I'm going to show you guys the village but this is the basement for Christmas, you guys know I go big down here. I have two trees. It's crazy. I have a tree upstairs, tree downstairs. I put lights, everything. It gets insane. So I knew I didn't want to go too crazy. And I don't, I like I said before, I'm really being a lot better about conscious spending and buying. And I'm really not trying to just like keep up with the, 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 the Joneses, you know? So I think this is good enough. And then we'll have the treats. And it doesn't necessarily have to be. I had to remember that money doesn't always equal memories it's just being there doing these little things and i think that'll be good enough so um yeah i'm gonna put my stuff into the dryer right now because i have laundry going but and then i'll go and show you the upstairs okay so here is my village i'm sitting on the floor <laughs> okay i don't have i live in a, a small home okay and I don't have a lot of space or anything like that. We have like a, our whole, I think what was 1958, this house was born. So our born, made, <laughs> born. And it's just small. So there's just like not a lot of space to do things. Um, one day I'm gonna eventually tear down this wall. It's just that day is not today. But this is where I keep my village. Just that whole sermon was because I want to tell you where I keep my village. I keep it on my little table because here's our living room and then boom kitchen table so you know there's always space but I want to show you this because I am absolutely in love this looks like Benny's here <sighs> okay that's embarrassing don't judge me he was just groomed I don't know what's going on but okay so here's the village this is from Costco it is the Disney Halloween village they also have one for Christmas and I am on the hunt so if you guys got your hands on it let me know but here you walk in, so here's, it has a little gates, the little, look at the little pumpkin, so cute. And there's Mickey and Minnie on a little grave. And then look at them little guys stealing the loot. And then we have this, but look, it lights up. 
I can't wait for my nephew to see this. He's so excited. Okay, and then look at Goofy. How cute is he? And there's Pluto. Oh, Pabecito, can you so good Papa? What do you think of the Disney thing? Good? Okay, Papa. I'm sitting on the floor so he hears me. And then it gets better. Hold on, let me turn. Hold on, Benny. Let me show him the goodies here. All right, I'm just going to put you guys down. So we have the big house. Okay. Do you guys see? Okay. Look at like, look at the big house, like the flickering fire, everything. The house is lit up. Look at the little side porch. It's cool, right? It's not like my nephew. It's cool, Dio. It's cool. But watch. <gasps> Hold on. I gotta get you guys in there. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Like, like you could see the little house. And then... Tell me this is not the coolest thing. Alright, so then we're still got this guy. And then... I'm just gonna turn off the sound because it's kind of loud. But then we have like this chapel right here. I just wanna let you guys know I'm literally on the floor. Like I've sat on the floor all morning and just looked inside this like a five-year-old, but I just think it is so cool. And I always wanted something like this. And look at the little mouse ears. This was only a hundred dollars. I felt like this was such a bargain. And like, look, you can go in there. I mean, you can't, but man. And then look. Wow. Nobody's here, bro. So cool, right? Like, I literally have been sitting on the floor in front of this village, like, in awe. Because I think it is so freaking cool. Do these light up, I wonder? <gasps> no freaking way, they do. Ever, look at these gates light up, too. Like, look at that. I would live here. This is so cool. Man, this is freaking awesome. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I swear to you. I've never been to Disney, and now I want to go and just live there. Now I understand Disney adults. I get you now. I understand. So I took off my eyelashes. I'm already in my pajamas. I just got to wash off my makeup. And I got a self tan today. I also got, I want to tell you guys, I've done a lot of self tanning experiments, tried and true. Bondi Sands Arrow, it's the best one. I mean, they all kind of are garbage in their own way, but this one I think is the best. But what do you guys say? Do you want to watch Hocus Pocus 1 or do you guys want to watch Monsters? Or Hocus Pocus. All right, we're going to watch Hocus Pocus. All right, I'm going to go take off my makeup and I'll probably wrap this video up. So I'm going to leave the recipe for the beef stroganoff down below. I'm telling you guys, what do you guys think? Think of dinner. Well, Good? Better. Your tooth feels better? Becky was having a toothache when she came home from school. She had like, uh, she had carrots at lunch and they were just stuck up in her gum. But all right, I'll leave that down below. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends.